This is a quick update, I know. You've been wondering what's going on with my peas and spinach. Well, as you can see, my spinach didn't make it because the cats ate it. So when it decided to grow, the cats ate it. And this did the same thing with the peas. The one plant that was hanging on and that didn't last. Um, I've been having a bit of a thing, I don't think they're quite in the right soil, I think the soil's a bit too heavy and I think um, maybe maybe not, but I, I think it stays too wet for the peas, but I have two plants that made it and guess what they've started to flower now, yes I know, that's not going to give me a lot of peas but it is a good sign because it shows that I can do it inside, can grow peas. So as soon as I'm got myself sorted out a little bit more, um, I'm able to move a bit easier because I'm in a lot of pain. Look green onions growing out of the top of a margarine tub they're the bottoms that I cut off some uh, green onions or scallions as we call them in the UK and I stuck them in water and look they are growing uh, and these have only been in here a few days uh, and look they're already starting to grow. They are different types of lettuce. They are the bottoms of the lettuce that I chopped off. And three of them have grown quite rapidly. One more than the other and then the two on this side are growing but a little bit slower. Soon I shall be moving them from there. Now Here's the catnip, and I've trimmed this down like four, four, five times already. Um, doesn't look like there's many plants in there right now, but once it gets to growing, let me see if I can find it. Once it gets to growing, as you can see, like this plant at the front here, it really takes off. Because this is the first one I did with the lettuce. There's celery tops over here. These are celery tops. These are bottoms of the celery. And the celery greens growing. And these are leeks. <laughs> Look at them going. So I have leek greens and then there's uh, one celery that's doing quite well. One lettuce that's doing quite well. I'm not sure if it... And, um, and then I've got two more down there. One has given up the goat. As you can see, and over there it's quite mushy. So I'm going to have to take that out. This one here is struggling, so I'm going to have to do something with that. And then there was another one just in there. Let's see if I'm there, peeking out there. And we're waiting to see if that one's going to do it. But these are just the bottoms that I cut off. I need to get myself a um, an aquaponics system going. Um, considering that I, if I do get a transplant, or even if I get listed, I need to do an update on what happened with that. Um, but we're still working towards it. This plant needs trimming. Uh, so, you know, it's not as leggy. But I'm going to wait until the spring. Um, my avocado. The, the, I've just put the, uh, the clothes up there. I need to put a, figure out a curtain. that I can open and close. 
So when I'm having a bad day and the light's too much, I can easily open and close it. But that's uh, an avocado, a little avocado tree that's starting to grow. Uh, it's funny because I didn't expect it to. I took the shell off the. A lot of people tend to um, bring this back here a bit at night because it's cold. But a lot of what I've seen people do is they stick toothpicks into its um, shell. And what I did was I just took the shell off and then stuck the meat in into the plant pot and just watered it every once in a while didn't expect anything to come up and then here I have some pretty flowers they are vinca um, now Norma I thought I had blue but they're kind of like a pinkish colour, purplish pinkish colour so I hope those seeds are okay that colour is okay for you I can send you blue um, um, I can't remember the name of the dawn plant Anyway, I've got some blue flowers, the blue flowers that are growing outside. Um, I can send you, I'll collect seeds off those and send you And then this, this one is, is flowering nicely. Again, this is a bit leggy. Um, I need to trim it back down, but I, I'll wait on that. Um, there are some nice little flowers on it. I forgot what they called this one, but it does have a nice scent to it, and it's not overwhelming. What is it? Diamond Delight, it's called. And that's the picture of how it grows. Or should grow, it should kind of grow in a mound, which, you know, come spring. But, um, <laughs> but I might... Uh, give it a trim before spring because it's getting kind of leggy and it's drooping um, no it doesn't it, it leaves a droop on the night because it's just because cold comes through the gaps that are in the sliding glass door so um so that's that's that oh I'll show you I'll show you the blueberry that's my blueberry um, you can see it's, you know, going to sleep for the winter, which it's supposed to do. Um, it has a lot of buds on it, and it actually came in with some, and, you know, they never, they never seem to ripen at the same time, so I've been chewing one here and there. There's another one down here, see. So I've been chewing them here. Oh, I see more over here so like I said I've been enjoying them every once in a while when they ripen enough so oh my goodness there's some here at the back there's some there look wow where did they come from <laughs> anyway and I'm going to show you the lemongrass and the orange. That's the lemongrass. There's some dried bits, some dried ones on which I need to cut. I was going to cut it back you know and let it rest for the winter but it's growing new lemongrass so one of these days I'll get this done in, in one shot capacity indeed. And here's a little poor orange bush that's kind of Falling over, um, and again, this this one came in the big orange that was on here. 
it finally fell off and hubby ate it and it was delicious and this one has one two three four no five oranges yep five oranges that are going to be ripening slowly and uh, then in spring we'll replant it so it stands up straight so anyway that's uh, that's the indoor garden so far um, I'd hope to do a bit more than this but um, uh, I'll I'll get more done. Um, it's just things take a little bit longer than we want them to sometimes. So, have a good evening, have a good day. Oh no. Remember, one step at a time, one breath at a time. We, I, can do this. I love you all. Thank you.